Hey guys, in this video we're going to make it so that we can actually update these fields in the back end for the social links widget. All right, and that's all going to happen in this update function. So what we can do is let's just uh, go in right here and we're going to create uh, an instance variable and that's going to be equal to an array. All right, and we're going to have a bunch of values in this array. All right, so first we're going to do our Facebook link. Okay, we're going to point that to not empty. I'm going to say not empty. And then we want to wrap the uh, new instance. And we want the Facebook link. I'll explain what this does in a minute. All right, and then we're going to say strip tags, which is just a um, sanitation function. Oops, we don't need those. And then we want same thing: new instance, Facebook link. And then we'll have this, which is just an else blank. All right, so what this is doing is it's setting the Facebook link index to um, a conditional, which we're saying if this is not empty, okay? So it's checking the instance in the database. If it's not empty, then it's going to keep it as that value, except we're wrapping it in a sanitation function. Um, and if it is, then we're just going to send nothing. All right, so we're going to have to do this for every field. So again, this is something that's kind of tedious. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to need a bunch of them. Okay, so let's see, we have our Facebook link. We're also going to need Twitter. We're going to need LinkedIn, Google, and then these ones will have uh, Facebook icon, Twitter icon, Google icon and let's see that's all the icons then I think we just have the the icon width left take that comma away let me make sure that I called it icon width because I know I was calling it icon size Okay, icon width, and then let's make sure down here in the form. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're also going to have to change these here. This will be Facebook icon. This will be Twitter icon. And Google icon. All right. And then over here, lastly, we're going to change these. Facebook icon and finally Google um, yeah Google icon 
right? Oh no, that's the icon width. Oh, we didn't have the Google icon. All right, so we'll have to just, let's copy this and change this. Google icon. All right, and then we'll put a comma here and we'll add that. And let's change these to icon width. Okay, so that looks good. Now, last thing we need to do here is we need to return the instance. All right, and that should do it for the update. So let's save that and we'll go back all right so let's go let's say we want to say facebook.com slash my profile all right we'll do that for all of these all right so let's save and it looks like they saved. Let's try to reload. And they're still there. Perfect. So these are now updating and saving. In the next video, we have the final task of displaying these links in the front end. All right, so we'll get to that next.